And I'm Lourdes Duarte. And I'm Ray Cordopassi in from Ben Bradley. A family shattered in an instant. A semi-tractor trailer hit and killed a three-year-old girl who was riding a bicycle with her mother in Uptown. Now city leaders are calling for more protections for cyclists across Chicago. WGN's Christine Flores is live at the scene with the very latest. Christine. Ray and Lourdes, that semi truck in question in this incident, as you can see, is still here behind me. We have seen a tow truck come by to try to tow it away without much success. It seems like there's now a second one here to try to tow it away as well. But as you can imagine, this is an incident that has many residents here in this area shaken up, many of whom say they heard those agonizing screams for help. We heard the truck stop and we heard screaming. So I stood up and saw a small child in the bike seat, the plastic bike seat under the rear tire of the truck and screaming to call 911, so I called 911. Loretta Malone is a critical care nurse, a neighbor who lives in the area, and overall a mother who sympathizes over the loss of a young child. I've watched people lose loved ones before. It's never easy. And to watch somebody lose a child, you, um, it changes you, it should change you, and um, you don't ever forget it. Police say the victim was a three-year-old little girl who was riding in the back of a bicycle being operated by her mother. They say the pair was traveling in the same direction as a semi-truck when the bicyclist lost control and collided with the truck's cab. The bike then fell to the ground and the three-year-old was struck by the truck. The child was pronounced dead at Lori Children's Hospital. Everybody obviously came towards their patio edge, came out to see what was happening. It became pretty clear what had gone on. Unfortunately, it wasn't a huge surprise to this community that something like this inevitably was going to happen. Wes Griffith says he and other residents have put in requests for additions to the street like speed bumps the past couple of years. We've asked for our, our street to be reclassified as a boulevard, which would eliminate some of this commercial traffic. In a statement, Alderman James Kappelman said, quote, our office had already been working with the Department of Transportation to create traffic safety measures to reduce vehicular speeds and increase safety for pedestrians and cyclists traveling down Leland. We will be reaching out to CDOT to see what further measures can be put in to avoid further accidents. We need to make change. This is a school. There's kids here. This is a community. This, we we got to make it safe. There's enough danger in our city right now. A child lost their life. If that doesn't move you, something's wrong with you. They were on a side street wearing helmets, minding their business. So they were doing all the right things, right? Police tell us there were no other injuries reported here at the scene and no word yet on if anyone will face any charges or if anyone was cited in this incident. Now, Comet did put out a statement since one of their trucks was here on the scene. They weren't directly involved, but they too are sending their condolences to the family. Reporting live in Uptown, Christine Flores, WGN News. So sad for everyone. Okay.